Spark plugs are like the match that lights the fire inside your engine. Every time you hit the gas, they spark up and set off the fuel and air mixture so your car can go. But when they don't fire right, your engine feels tired like it's running uphill with a fridge strapped to its back. Now, here's a sign that something's not quite right. If the tips of those plugs are turning white, it means they're getting too hot. That can come from running lean, too much air and not enough fuel, or using the wrong type of plug altogether maybe even a cheap gas that burns hotter than it should. This video is going to walk you through why that happens and how to make it right, step by step. Just do me a favor first, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the rest of the good stuff. When your spark plug's tip turns white, it's not just putting on a clean suit, it's crying out for help. That white color means your engine's running hotter than a summer barbecue and leaner than a wallet after payday. Too much air, not enough fuel, that heat burns the tip. And when oxygen mixes with leftover junk in the fuel like iron and other nasties, it leaves behind a white crust, kind of like when you overcook something and it gets all scorched and flaky. Now don't think you're in the clear by just swapping in new plugs, that's like putting a fresh bandage on a rusty pipe. It'll leak again if you don't fix the pressure. You've got to hunt down what's making the engine run lean. Could be a vacuum leak, fuel delivery issue, or even sensors acting up. Fix that, or you'll be right back where you started low fuel pressure. When fuel pressure drops low, the engine ends up gasping for fuel like a runner with weak lungs. It still sucks in air through the intake like normal, but now there's not enough gasoline to go with it. That makes the mixture too lean, too much air, not enough bang. The engine burns hotter than it's supposed to and those poor spark plugs at the front line take the punishment. Their tips get scorched and leave behind a ghostly white coating, kind of like ash from a fire that burned too bright. But here's the kicker. Low fuel pressure doesn't just roast your spark plugs, it also drags down performance like a trailer full of bricks. Acceleration gets sluggish, your fuel economy tanks and the dreaded check engine light pops on. If the pressure dips too far, the whole engine might not even fire up. It'll just crank and wheeze like it's trying to wake up but can't find its morning coffee. Your engine's got a whole bunch of sensors working around the clock, like watchful mechanics keeping an eye on how much air and fuel's coming through the system. They tweak and tune things constantly so the engine runs just right, like a well-oiled symphony under the hood. Now, if one of those sensors goes haywire, it's like giving bad directions to the conductor. The mix can get thrown off, too rich, too lean, too much fuss. Oxygen sensors and mass airflow sensors are the usual troublemakers. When they misread the situation, your engine ends up guessing instead of knowing. That's when problems start stacking up, bad mileage, poor performance, and that ever-annoying check engine light lighting up like it's tattling on you. The fuel pump's job is to keep a steady stream of gasoline flowing right up to the rail. Think of it like delivering coffee to a tired engine. If that pump starts slacking off and can't keep the pressure up, your engine doesn't get enough fuel. That's when the mix goes lean, too much air, not enough juice, and things start heating up inside. Spark plugs take the brunt of it, and before you know it, you're staring down a check engine light that's more stubborn than a mule in the mud. Might even toss out a vague trouble. Trouble code that doesn't tell you much unless you know what to dig for. But here's something folks often overlook. A dirty fuel filter can act just as bad. That filter's supposed to catch junk before it clogs up the works, but when it's full, it chokes the flow like a pinched garden hose. Same slow delivery, same lean run, same performance drop. In both cases, you're looking at rough starts, weak acceleration, and maybe no start at all if the fuel's barely trickling in. Clean fuel and strong pressure, that's what keeps the engine humming. Old spark plugs are like worn out lighters, they might still flick, but they won't light anything the way they used to. When those plugs get corroded or gunked up, they struggle to fire off the fuel air mix at the right time. That delay means the combustion doesn't happen clean. And when it finally lights up, the heat builds up fast like pressure in a kettle with no whistle. That sudden pop creates what feels like a mini explosion, adding heat stress that those old plugs just can't handle anymore. Now, if someone tossed in bargain bin spark plugs thinking they'd save a buck, they might have picked ones with the wrong heat rating, too hot or too cold for your setup. If the thermal range isn't tuned to your engine, the plug tip can start showing white buildup like chalk after a fire. When you roll up to any random gas station and don't use top-grade fuel, you're basically playing roulette with what ends up in your tank. Sure, there's a sea of stations across the country, but not all of them treat their fuel like it's something precious. Some of the fuel might 
be stale, low on proper cleaning additives, or just plain dirty, and your engine's gonna notice. Poor quality gas doesn't burn clean. Instead, it leaves behind gunk, especially white crusty deposits on your spark plugs. And that's just the start of the trouble. That same fuel can rough up the fuel pump, clog the injectors, foul the oxygen sensors, and even give the catalytic converter a hard time. It's like feeding your engine a steady diet of greasy fast food and expecting it to run a marathon. If you really want your ride to purr and not spit and sputter, stick with stations known for good fuel with strong detergent packages. Your engine will thank you with smoother starts, better mileage, and fewer surprises on the dashboard. First off, if your spark plugs are all crusty and burnt up, don't waste time trying to clean them or squeeze more life out. Just pull them and slap in a fresh set. Even if it ain't officially time yet, better safe than stranded. Some plugs are built for the long haul, up to 150,000 miles. But if they're fouled, none of that matters. Now swapping plugs is doable if your engine's friendly about it. Some cars have them right up front, easy as pie. Others, you'll be playing hide and seek under the intake, or behind engine mounts. And if a plug breaks off inside, well, you'll be cussing harder than a stub toe in the cold. If that sounds risky, skip ahead and call in the pros. Now, if your dash lit up like Christmas with that check engine light, grab a code scanner. That little gadget will read out the fault codes telling you what the engine's griping about. It's like hearing straight from the horse's mouth. If the codes say your engine's running lean, then you've got detective work ahead. Maybe the pump's weak, maybe the sensors are off, maybe there's air sneaking in where it shouldn't. Dig into the codes, check your fuel trim, and if you're stuck, get yourself the factory manual. The thing's the map to the whole system, with diagrams and steps laid out plain. As for the fuel you're pumping in, don't just go for the cheapest stuff you see on the road. Top-tier fuel's got the good additives that keep things clean and running smooth. A lot of reputable stations will have a sticker on the pump saying they're the real deal. If you've been getting gas from no-name places, it might explain the junk building up on your plugs and clogging your sensors. And hey, if all this starts sounding like Greek or your tools look more confused than you are, don't make a bigger mess. Call someone who's elbow deep in engines every day. Sometimes a pro can save you hours of headache and possibly a chunk of change down the road.